Patricia. Welcome to Needlepoint Tool Time. I sell gadgets, accessories, and tools for Needlepoint. We carry over a hundred items, and if you don't see what you're looking for, I can probably order it for you. Today, we're going to show you a few of my favorite things. This is a great light for travel and classes. It's battery operated. It has six LED lights. It's called a multiflex light. This is our newest find. It's called the Dublin. If you know why, let me know. It has 22 LED lights, a five inch magnifier, and it can be either battery or operated or plugged in. Now here's the neat part. Clips onto your frame and has a five inch diameter magnifier. It also has two LED lights. It's not a lot of light, but it helps. I've also learned that a friend of mine stitches for competition and usually wins. And when she's stitching for competition, she always uses a magnifier. This is the new Stitch Smart floor frame. It weighs less than four pounds. It's fabulous for classes, for travel. And the unique thing about this is that these jaws There's a groove here and here. And the edge of your frame or your Evertights fits in the groove so it never moves. There is a light and a magnifier accessory that can plug in up here. And the stand is adjustable. It goes up and down. Like so. This is a lighted pin picker upper. But a recent class, I dropped my needle on the floor a dozen times. It stretches out to 28 inches. Just sit in your chair and fish for your pin. This is my witch, and she was 28 inches wide. Much too big to work on comfortably. So what you do is put her on your Evertights, and these are 18 inches square. You roll the excess canvas and just clip it with the canvas clip. They come in a pair of two. There's big and small. You just have to fiddle around and see which size works better for you. There we go. Just like that and I had no problems working on it. The Evertight stretcher frames are our best selling item. Once you try them, you never go back. When your canvas gets loose and springy, simply take the T-tool and tighten up the little gadgets at the end. and pretty soon your canvas is tight as a drum. It's the thread zap, and it's used on all those threads that fray like flare, and I've just found it works real well on the holographic threads. This heats up a lot, and then you simply use it as scissors, and then both ends are carterized so it will not fray. This is the new bead tower and I've managed to put all my beads in one place. I found them all over the house. I had no idea what I had. The tubes fit in these little plastic things. You can fold it up or you can Velcro it and stand it up on the table. And when you fold it up, the entire thing slips into this plastic bag so you can even hang it for storage. And the other thing you can use it for is to store your metallic fibers. If you decide to store the beads, we do have extra three inch cases for the beads. I took all my Glick and my Mill Hill beads and put them in these extra tubes. This is a popular item. It's the dual scissor case. You open it up, it can hold 
two pair of scissors. I have my needle threader. I have my perfect stitch laying tool. I keep one of these in each project so I just grab it and I'm ready to go. These are the new Walker bags and I just love them because they've got three pockets. The top one, I keep my frame. This is a 10 inch frame, fits in there nicely and my directions. The second pocket contains my fibers. And the third pocket normally has my dual scissor case and my thread zapper. It comes in this color, which is orange, green, and pink. Or it comes in the sea blue colors. And this is the larger size. The measurements of everything are on the website. This is the Ashland Sky Tote. And it's the most reasonable tote that we've found. It zips. It has a clear plastic on the front and uh, heavy duty nylon on the back and a shoulder strap. It comes in this large size and the measurements are all on the website. We have it in this size in elegant purple. We have a smaller sack. And then there's also a project pouch for fibers or instructions, and they make a little tool case. So you can just be set to go. You can mix or match your colors. This is the parking spot, and it's magnetic. It's held on by a magnet, and it will hold your larger things that will not attach to the magnets. Any laying tool, anything you might have like that. It's got a little spring-loaded clamp. I still love my K stainless steel floor stand, and I use it exclusively when I'm at home, but it's not available to show today. This is a storage system called Annie's Keepers, and you purchase the airtight, watertight box. And inside are Annie's Keepers. This was first designed for floss, but I found I had to cut my floss too short. I didn't like it. But what I did do is put all my over dye threads on it. And these can be taken off, put in your work bag, clip back on. There's tags that identify them as to what they are. And I had no idea I had so many over dyed fibers because they were all stuffed together on my, in my DMC drawers. I also put all my Floche in here. And so I'll put some of my other things that are on skeins. You can buy a set that has 300 of these key things so you can have 300 fibers in here. 